This is our first full hypothesis test. It's a little long, it's a lot to write. So it says the company wants to implement flex time scheduling so the workers can schedule their own hours. But it needs a minimum mean of seven hours per day per assembly worker. A random sample of 90 workers is taken. If the mean number of hours requested on Mondays was 6.6 .6 hours and the standard deviation was 2.9 hours. Do the data provide sufficient evidence to indicate the mean number of hours worked on Mondays will be less than seven hours. Use alpha equals 0.05. First, we need to state the null and alternative. What they're trying to prove is they're trying to prove, no, we can't let our workers just schedule as they wish because nobody's gonna come in on Mondays. So they wanna show sufficient evidence the mean number of hours worked is less than seven. What they're trying to prove goes in the alternative that the mean number of hours is less than seven. The null is all the same symbols, mu, seven, but it's always equal to. Now that we have the null and alternative, we want to find the test statistic. So the test statistic, z, is going to be based off of what we got from the actual sample, which was 6.6 .6 hours, minus the mean under the null hypothesis, which is seven, divided by the given standard deviation, which is 2.9, divided by the root of n, which they told me there were 90 workers involved. When I put this into my calculator, I'm putting in parentheses 6.6 .6 minus 7 n parentheses divided by new parentheses 2.9 over the root of 90. When I put all that in, I get a z-score of negative 1.308, which I'm gonna call negative 1.31. I now need a rejection region. Again, all of these are laid out on slide 10 of the PowerPoint from the last day of class on proportion testing. So here, this negative 1.31 is what I need to compare to something. Because I have a less than alternative hypothesis, there's only going to be a left-sided region. That means this greater than region is going to be none. I want my left-sided region to have alpha equals 0.05. So I'm looking for a situation where there's 0.05 in this shaded region. In other words, I'm looking up 0.0500 in the center of my table. Again, I don't need to do any of this. All I need to do is have that one slide in my notes, and then I'll have the answers for any given alpha and any given alternative hypothesis. But if I had to do it from scratch and look up this 0.0500, it would point me to negative 1.645. So here Z is less than negative 1.645. We'd start my region of rejection. This negative 1.31 is not to the left of negative 1.645. That's why I would fail to reject.